Hello my lovelies, welcome to my 31 days of Halloween nail art. This year's entire series is going to be a collaboration with Katie from Hot Pink Zebra Polish. And for today's tutorial we are doing Rayon. Katie's video will be linked down below in my description box so be sure to check out her video as well. But in the meantime let's get started on today's design. Before we start with any acrylic work we need to prepare the tip and by this we need to use our e-file and start carving out a rectangle in the free edge of the tip. <laughs> Be sure to neaten it and remove any bits which are fraying. With that complete we can then use Ugly Duckling's colour number 065 and Le Chat's palm leaf and start marbling the two colours together over the entire nail. Be sure though when you get to the opening which we created not to cover it and make sure it remains open. Set that aside to dry completely and then use Ugly Duckling's colour number 146 and 027 and start sculpting tiny little tombstones. Tombstone. For this design we're going to need four little tombstones so place four beads on your nail form paper and start sculpting them to resemble tombstones. To change things up a little on one of them you can add a little cross and then with that complete you can use some oversaturated black beads of acrylic and start shading in these tombstones. The hole we cut out in the tip earlier is going to represent the grave which has been freshly dug. But to make it look deep rather than just a hole in the nail we need to sculpt black rectangles the size of this hole. Sculpt these rectangles and set them aside to dry and in the meantime you can use nail glue to attach the tombstones to the nail in random positions. Place small beads of green acrylic at the base and behind each tombstone and this will help secure them in place while also making it look like there's bushes growing in front. Now on the open grave add black beads of acrylic so it looks like dirt is piled up on either side of the grave. And using the same black acrylic use it to sculpt out a spooky looking tree. When that dries pick it up and hold it into position using some nail glue and then reinforce the base of the tree with some acrylic. Now back to the grave opening and those little rectangles we sculpted earlier. Pick each one up and place it to its corresponding side using some nail glue and hold it into position up until it dries. Attach all four sides using this method and then you'll need to sculpt out a final fifth rectangle and this fifth rectangle is going to be placed on top as we're looking at it now but it's actually in essence at the bottom of the grave opening. With all five pieces attached to the base of this grave go back with some black acrylic to seal in all the joins and make sure they're secure. Then add some writing to the tombstones and then this design will be ready for reveal. And here is my completed design for our theme graveyard. What do you think of it? Be sure to let me know down below in the comments. Also, don't forget to head over to Katie's channel to check out her version of graveyard. I've linked her video down below in the description box, so do head over there and check that out. And that's it for today's tutorial. Be sure to join us here again tomorrow for our next episode of 31 Days of Halloween. And in the meantime, if you would like to watch another video, Black Kitty here recommends this one. Well, I recommend this one. Which one will you choose? I'll see you all next time. Bye.